Okay, you ready to kick it up a notch? All right, this is where it gets exciting. Bam, so the MMC modifier. All right, so when you read this, there's a little missing word you just have to know, at, and that helps complete the sentence. It says, this hole is positioned within a diameter of 10 at its MMC. So what is the MMC of this hole? 750, that's your smallest hole. That's what we call maximum material condition. So it says when the hole is produced at maximum material condition, you're allowed a position tolerance of 10 thou. So I think we've seen that work. There's your exaggerated zone of 10. The hole could shift then 5,000 to the right, 5,000 to the left, 5,000 up, 5,000 in the corner. Okay, but what happens if the hole comes in bigger? So the hole goes up to 758. So watch the hole, see it got bigger? What happens to position tolerance? More, you get a bonus, you get an extra. So the hole went from 750 to 758, so now you're allowed 18 thousandths position. So that larger hole, since it got bigger by eight, now you're allowed an extra position of 818. So watch the tolerance zone. See that cylindrical zone now went up to a diameter of 18. So now the edge, the axis can shift all the way to the edge of that tolerance zone, nine thousandths off the center to the right, to the left, or up or down or in the corner. So the position tolerance increases as the size of the hole increases. So remember this hole has two parameters. It has the size tolerance on the hole, telling you how big and small it can be, and that's indicated by the plus or minus four. Then it has a position tolerance that controls its location tolerance, how much it can be off from its true position. Now this position tolerance says that it's at MMC. You get a position tolerance of 10 at the MMC. Now remember, MMC is equal to smallest hole. So at our MMC, which is in this case 750, when you make it at that size, then your position tolerance will be the baseline 10 thou. Now the MMC modifier says as the hole gets bigger, 751, then you get a bonus tolerance. You get 11. One bigger, one more. Now if you make it at 752, you made it two bigger from MMC, so then you get two more. 753, you get 13, and then dot, 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 all the way up to 758. That's our least material condition, plus four. That is where you'll get 18,000. So the MMC modifier says as you make the hole larger in size, then you get an increase in your position tolerance. Now what would happen if I got rid of the MMC modifier and went to default regardless of feature size? How would this chart change? Now you get a position tolerance of 10 regardless, no matter what the size. So you get 10, here you would get 10, here you would get 10, here you would get 10, and all the way up, you get 10 thou no matter what the size. Now this would work, the parts would still fit, but you're not taking advantage of that extra bonus tolerance. The MMC modifier is pretty simple. You're trying to clear a pin. Now if you make the hole small in size, then you have to be very accurate on its location or you won't clear that pin. But if you make the hole bigger, then its center can be off more and still clear that mating piece. So the MMC modifier is a way to give more manufacturing tolerance in a direction that doesn't matter to your function. So the bigger the hole, the more clearance between the pieces, and that's why we can give more position tolerance. Remember, how did we calculate this number? Diameter of 10, where'd that number come from? Oh, it's clearance between your smallest hole and your biggest pin. Now, if you make the hole bigger, 751, 752, there's more clearance, and so we give that as more position tolerance. It's pretty interesting how it works. What's 750 minus 10? 740. What's 752 minus 12? 740. What's 755 minus 15? 740. If you believe me, they're all going to be 740. And that's what our mating pin is. Mating pin is a 740. So that's the function here is make this hole clear a 740 pin. And that's accounting for both its size and its position. And now they're connected. The size of the hole determines how accurate the hole needs to be. Smaller hole needs to be more accurate. A bigger hole can be less accurate and it'll still clear that mating pin. So that's where we use this modifier, MMC, 
We use it on clearance holes for clearing a bolt, a screw, a rivet. It's a fastener hole. <laughs> so it's not an alignment hole. It's not a press fit hole. It's a clearance hole. That's where we use the MMC modifier. It's often called bonus tolerance in the industry. I don't know if you've heard that term before. Does that hole have bonus tolerance? What they're asking is, does it have an MMC modifier? They don't actually call it bonus tolerance in the standard. In the standard, they call it departure from MMC tolerance. It doesn't sound as much fun as bonus tolerance, does it? And when somebody says you're getting a bonus, it gets you all excited, right? So I like calling it bonus. I, a lot of people in the industry call it that. It's a slang term, but I think it describes it so well. You know, just you get what you used to have plus a little extra bonus. So let's show that one more time here. The small hole can only move around the baseline. That's the diameter of 10, 10 at the smallest hole. But as the hole gets larger in size, then we can have more position tolerance. And that's great for a clearance hole. Well, the next one, we'll be talking about the LMC modifier, a little bit more advanced one.